We would like to wish all our Muslim friends Salama Hari Raya Aidil Fitri. This year, I'm sure the celebrations will be very different because of COVID-19, but I hope that that doesn't dampen your spirits. As with any of our local festivals, there are greetings we say to each other when we meet our friends and family. I'm sure most of us non-Muslims will know the typical greetings like Salama Hari Raya and of course, Ait Mubarak. But have you ever heard of this phrase, Mahav Zahir Dambatin? Typically, we'll say in a phrase like Salama Hari Raya, Maaf Zahir Dambatin. Even if you have heard this phrase before and even use it in a greeting, do you know the origins of this greeting? Do you know that this phrase is hardly ever mentioned outside of Indonesia, Malaysia or Singapore, even in other predominantly Muslim countries? How about the ketupat? Do you know that the food as well as the phrase that I mentioned just now have amazing multicultural backstories? So let's explore what some of these things are. So first of all, the phrase, Ma'af Zahir Dan Batin. What does it mean? Hari Raya Aidil Fitri or Hari Raya Puasa marks the end of Ramadan, which is a month of fasting for the Muslims. And it's a time for forgiveness and strengthening of bonds within the Muslim community. When used to greet elders, this phrase carries the meaning of seeking forgiveness from the elders for past sins that we have done the previous year. For the person doing the greeting, asking for forgiveness is an honourable act that wipes the slate clean and allows them to move forward with no regrets. One of the Wali Songo, revered Islamic saints by the name of Sunan Bonang, encouraged Muslims to strive for perfection in their Ramadan fast by asking for forgiveness and forgiving in turn. Because of this, Hari Raya, or more commonly known in Java as Lebaran, places emphasis on forgiving others. One interesting thing about Sunang Bonang is that his paternal family lineage can actually be traced back to be ethnically Chinese, which is something I'm sure a lot of people would not expect. This phrase, however, could have originated from a song by the title of Salamat Lebaran, which was written by a legendary Indonesian composer by the name of Ismail Mazuki in the 1950s. What's amazing was that this song became even more popular in Malaysia as well as Singapore when a Malaysian superstar by the name of P. Ramli did the cover for this song. So this phrase, Maaf Zahir Dambatin, encapsulated the teachings of a Javanese saint of Chinese descent and popularized by a song that was popular in Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore. Isn't that amazing? Along with Hari Raya comes many snacks and seasonal good food that even non-Muslims can enjoy, such as the ketupat, which is a traditional rice dish encased in a diamond-shaped container that's made up of woven palm leaves. I'm sure most of us have tasted the ketupat before, but did we know that there was actually an intriguing backstory as well. Ketupat originally got its name from the Javanese language, where ku means admit and pat or lepat means mistakes. So literally when you say ketupat is to admit one's mistakes. People began to attach religious meaning to ketupat in various parts of Indonesia and it became a sort of staple food, especially during the significant period of Hari Raya in Indonesia. It was also often gifted to friends and neighbours as a symbol of togetherness, further emphasising the message of harmony during Hari Raya. Even more interesting is the message within the ketupat itself, such as the webbing design of the wrapper itself signifying human mistakes, and the white colour of the rice within signifying the cleanliness and purity of the human soul. So that when you're opening up a ketupat, you're literally asked to look past a person's mistakes and see the purity of the heart and soul within. From this, we're able to see once again the joining of culture as well as religion to create a symbolic food that represents the essential value of forgiveness in both Muslim as well as Javanese societies. And we stand to benefit from this because this got spread to neighbouring countries like Malaysia and Singapore. The deep meanings behind common Hari Raya traditions really brings to light the importance of understanding and appreciating one another's cultures and religions. While asking for forgiveness, saying Ma Zahir Dan Batin or eating the ketupat might be considered a Muslim or Malay tradition during Hari Raya Aidil Fitri helps us to understand the depth of cultural harmony within Singapore and within the region itself. This is just one example and I hope it inspires you to find more commonalities rather than differences between cultures because I was truly inspired. 
If we talk to each other, we might find all these clues from our past that we have a lot more in common than we thought. Thus, when one of us celebrates, we all celebrate together. With that, I would like to wish everyone Selamat Hari Raya Adifitri, Maaf Zahir Dambatin, and may you forgive me physically as well as spiritually for whatever I might have done last year, and may we look forward to a good year ahead.